OK Furniture's big brand sale is still on and you can stand a chance of winning one of 15 Toyota Vitz cars when you buy any participating brands by the 26th of May 2024. This includes Defy, Samsung, Sony, KIC, Hisense and so much more brands at the lowest prices guaranteed. Shop our latest catalogs online or in store today to win big. Prices valid until until the 12th of May 2024. T's and C's apply. It is going to be part by World Sports Betting. It is good times. So, it's the NetBank Cup weekend. Uh, it's the last four. Of course, the dream final would be if we got Orlando Pirates versus Mamelo de Sundowns. However, football is football. Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, on Saturday, we got the United and Orlando Pirates. Uh, we got Mamelo de Sundowns uh, is travelling to the Western Cape where I come from and they are playing against Stellenbosch. So we'll start with uh, Junior, my analyst. We'll talk about uh, Chipper United against Orlando Pirates. Junior, um, an interesting game. Obviously, everyone thinks that Gule game le um, cheap and the Pirates, it looks like Orlando Pirates are the strong team. Um, what do you fancy in that game and why? I am good. I'm proud of Yeah, obviously, I'm good. 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 i and pride feature of him, Guanelo Cop, and also Lomchita began a coach in Super Sport United. Tabo September. Tabo September. Yeah, no, uh, I think they're doing well so far. Winning games that they're very difficult, especially away uh, from home. Uh, just a team of equal consistency. Yeah, they were but leading. I remember when we were watching the last game, they were Swallows. leading, and I told you, you and so Guti against the Swallows, they are leading 1 0. Yes. And then the second half, yeah, boy, Swallows, and they won 2 1 as well. Yeah, uh, obviously, still inexperienced. I need to be a very good coach, young and promising, but inexperienced. Uh, also, they were playing against inexperienced coach, but uh, on a bright future now, almost. So, each point United, they are playing very, uh, a very high. Uh, Orlando Pirates currently. Yeah. Pirates yeah, but we'll go to the Chiefs are cheaper. Although Pirates is not, of course, Chiefs. Yeah. Pirates and the Chiefs, they are experiencing two different forms. Yeah. But uh, maybe an example of how they raise their game against the bigger teams. It's going to be at the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium at, in Port Elizabeth, which is a bigger stadium, a better stadium than the other stadium that they played the Chiefs against. So now, this is a big occasion for them. And it's going to be the first time by the final since, I think, 2021. So it's a big game for Chippa United players, especially their low-profile players that don't always play in the final. It is also a big game for Orlando Pirates as well. Yeah, very big game for uh, cheaper United players. Mobile mm, checker, they don't play with high profile players. Yeah. Certain players, a few, two, three, four. Yeah, uh, that the high profile player, we shoot them a season player, not so high. Yeah, it's not high profile, but experienced not player. Experienced players. Uh, some they exper inexperienced, but these boys, I see they run. Uh, they, 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 they take instruction, but they under instruction. And I think about seven, they have one right uh, we're going to be consistent with the playing against the Orlando Pirates that they've got too many uh, individual uh, talented and crowd pullers, players um, for King. Uh, current who's in form, contender of a young player of the season. Yeah. Masangai, contender of player of the season. He will be back probably. Uh, yes, Maketlin Magaula, very influential in terms of uh, in the middle, it's a Robert Samabasa contender of the top goal scorer. So that's why it's individual brilliant all under Paris. The way Paris are playing as well, uh, very fluid currently, understanding each other. Any team I want to know what is that is a change in general. Yes, they change part one or two. Yeah, uh, very difficult to stop all under Paris. That's scored uh, ten goals in two games, or eleven goals in two goals at, uh, in two games. So uh, I need to be on a seven one plus four one. No, oh, for two. I remember, it is eleven goals in two games, and they scored three. They score always. They score. They hardly score one nil. Uh, maybe one or equal. We may draw. In our days, they have been winning games. So it's cheaper not to solve any problem. Pirates going to win the game. All right. Your your bet is that Orlando Pirates will win that game. Definitely sure. Pirates going to win convincingly. 
Uh, I see the score is going to be 2-0 or 3-0. 2 nil, 3 nil to all on the Pirates. Okay, there you are. Um, if you fancy a bet as well, you can go to wsb.co.za as well as sports betting. wsb.co.za if you want to bet all on the Pirates or cheaper United. And remember also, a draw does apply in these matches. Whatever ends in 90 minutes, um, that's considered a draw in betting. And it is a draw after 90 minutes. And then, of course, these teams will go to extra time and go to penalties if such a game goes to that extent. Will Orlando Pirates uh, defeat Chippa United? History says they probably will. However, this is football. Uh, the dream final for all of us and the sponsors and everyone, Abonet Bank, I'm sure, will be that we want to see Orlando Pirates and Sundowns in another, another final this season. They played in the MTN 8 final. We want to see them again in another final. Let's look at Sundowns, the Stellenbosch. Um, I think last year or last season, uh, Stellenbosch, yeah, keep by Sundowns, we... We net bank cup, if I'm not mistaken. Well, I'm not mistaken. I know that that happened. Um, it was one of those games where Sundowns were knocked out and they were pissed off for being knocked out by Stellenbosch. But maybe that was a sign for Stellenbosch who would look, this is a serious team. They have a very strong front three. Ikram Reynas with 14 or 15 goals. He's scoring a lot of goals and he's also got a good support as well. Um, what do you think of Sundowns on Sunday? Um, they're traveling to the Western Cape to play against Stellenbosch. Yeah, a uh, very difficult game. Sundowns, I know, with the cup. Yes, speak closer to the microphone. Yeah, sorry. Very difficult game uh, for Mamele Sundowns. Uh, it's not an easy game. Standing point, they've got the best front three. Also, a uh, best middle filters that they are young. A team that is very young, but understand each other. A good coach as well. He's managed to take out the best out of those players, individual and as a team. Uh, Sundowns, that they recently been knocked out at the uh, Champions, Champions League. League. I'm sure they will want to win this trophy. Also, TSTV Premiership. Uh, it's not going to be an easy game, Gulag. I need to be honest. It's it's a slow pillar, slow pillar, but defense sometimes like it's very speed. What do you think about the too many matches? Monday, Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. Like There's so many matches that Sundowns yeah, will Sundowns play. And they have to play maybe two different squads now, if, uh, two different 11s most of the time. Yeah, I see Sundowns, they, they were resting players. A.K. Miniabone, Lebe Baitala, is Sundowns the Chiefs. Too many players, they Baba Restile. And those players, I'm sure they will play on Sunday. Mama Cheka, their first preference. A very difficult game, as an issue, I see obvious. Could anything can happen in their game. But it's different because of my quality. I need the experience and quality. Sundowns will win that game because of. You can't say Shail and then no Revlan about Shail. Especially when you play Sundowns. And you can't tell what he, at that day uh, they will be, they will look ordinary, average players because of a uh, back to back matches. Sundowns can surprise you. It's a matter of. Well, it is a factor to play back to back matches. That's yes, why we keep yeah. on mentioning them. Yeah. Because yeah. you can clearly see that some of the matches they're just playing so that they win. Just I'm not when, win. when you check, you came up on a standing name, it just collects something else. When you check those players, uh, buzzing, you know, uh, you couldn't tell with the fatigue or those are players not playing. So, I know with the playing standing poach that is so promising, that team is going to be a problem going forward. Mama Cheka, Pambi, Bazo Manking are definitely too many, many teams. Mm -hmm. It can happen to win the league, Bazo win the league in future. It's going to be very difficult. Yeah. I don't, I, because yeah, in there's, future, yes. remember that they are a selling club. Always you have to consider a history of a team yeah. before you. Before you rate them or anything like that, always remember they are a selling club. They're going to lose Ujaden um, Adams. Uh, Ujaden Adams, I don't know Adams. Uh, he plays in the midfield. Uh, they're going to lose Udino van Royen. Definitely he's going to leave at some point. Um, Ikram Reynas, someone is going to want to pick him up. Yeah. So because they are a selling team, they are always refreshing. Um, they are always refreshing their squad. And sometimes Banogos Dola Bego number 12. Although, of course, this season, they're doing really, really well. And I would wish... For them to be number two, but bang and good careful. Funuka bona foot, Mabang and careful with him. Iba Pataganja and Jongo be careful so go to sundowns because they have to constantly rotate. Um, it fully parades uh, because there's too many back to back matches, even for your parades. I want to see how uh, Stellenbosch handles the care football. Go back, Cape Town City, again, again, and I, in Guinea, Puma. South African teams, they just go in there and they get themselves out. Maybe deliberately. Sometimes they don't have enough depth. Um, and Pirates have no excuse. But So I want to see them. If for them to win the league, they're going to have to be able to handle all of those pressures. Let's look at that game. Who do you think is going to win? Yeah, and how, uh, what the score is when well? you play sometimes you play against the national team, 
Liverpool will go to the Congo semi-final. Yeah, it's still in point. It's going to have, uh, have a problem. Santos is going to win. What's the scoreline? Um, I'm sure Santos is going to win that game 2-1. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be close. 2-1, yes. All right, two one to Mamelo to Sundowns. That's Junior Kanye's uh, prediction. He thinks uh, Orlando Pirates are gonna win. Uh, he, Mamelo to Sundowns is gonna win as well. So we'll have the dream final if that happens. Football being football gives a lot of people opportunities to make money with betting. You can go to WSP, the CEO does that. Remember that Sundowns were knocked out at this competition. If you remember, Ikram Reynas, Junior Mendieta. Um, I think it was at Athlon Stadium. It was one of the best games I've ever seen, actually, um, in terms of counter-attacking football, because Stellenbosch were just absorbing, 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 and then, boom, they were blistering with pace. It was, I really remember that game, enjoying it. Um, I think it's going to be a similar game, um, of course, when we see Sundowns. Also, Sundowns relies on sh shifting and changing the starting lineup, and you don't know whether or not that's going to have an, any impact, so it's going to be an interesting one. The one that I think is obvious is the Pirates game, but, of course, football is not obvious, but the Sundowns one against Stellenbosch is going to be a tough game like Junior was saying. Um, WSP.co.za, Disky TV, Disky Times, World Source Betting. Thank you for watching us.